This is the solution to question 5, paper 2 of the SQA's Curriculum for Excellence Specimen Higher Exam. I'm given this diagram, a couple of points, giving you a chord, and we're asked to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of that chord. So let's look at a larger diagram, and let's put the information we've got on this diagram. That's negative 1, negative 1, and this point is 7, 3. So for part A, per perpendicular bisector, let's establish the midpoint of this chord, and there's the perpendicular bisector. And it's an axis of symmetry of that diagram, so it passes through the centre. So let's declare what we've done. Let M be the midpoint of chord AB. So that implies that the coordinates of M start with the X coordinate halfway between negative 1 and 7. It's the average value or the mean of these two, and the y-coordinates, negative 1 and 3, halfway between negative 1 and 3. Sorry, that should be a 2. And negative 1 plus 7 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So this point, let's add it to the diagram, is 3, 1. So to get the equation of this perpendicular bisector, we've got a point on it, we now need to work out its gradient. Remember the formula we're going to be using is, if we know a point on a line is AB and its gradient is M, then its equation is Y minus B equals M times X minus A. That's the formula we're going to be using. So we certainly have now a point that's on the line, but we need to work out the gradient. So first of all, let's work out the gradient of the chord AB. Y difference over X difference. So 3 minus minus 1 over 7 minus minus 1. Y difference over X difference. So that's the same as 3 plus 1 over 7 plus 1. That's a half. And fair enough, it looks like that. When you go one along, you've gone a half up. So that gradient looks OK. So that means that the gradient of a line perpendicular to AB would be, remember we turn this upside down and change the sign, minus 2 over 1, or negative 2. That's because the product of these two must come to negative 1. So this line has a gradient of negative 2. So we've discovered that a point on the line is 3, 1, and the gradient is negative 2. So equation is y minus y coordinate gradient times x minus the x coordinate. That's using this as formula here. So let's simplify that. We've got y minus 1 equals negative 2x plus 6 when we multiply out. So we end up with y equals negative 2x, add 1 to both sides, minus 2x plus 7 as the equation of this perpendicular bisector. So let's add it to the diagram. So let's move on to part B where we're asked to find the equation of this circle that passes through AB with centre C. And a new piece of information comes in that the line CB is parallel to the x-axis. And you'll notice that this line is at a height of 3. It has an equation y equals 3. Um, equation 
of line CB is y equals 3. Now, it passes through the center, as does this y equals negative 2x plus 7. So to find C, we'll solve these two equations similar, uh, simultaneously to find out where um, C is. To find C, solve y equals 3 and y equals minus 2x plus 7 together. Both have to be true to find the point C. So this implies that negative 2x plus 7 must equal 3. So negative 2x, take 7 from both sides, divide both sides by negative 2, you get positive 2. So the point C has x coordinate 2 and we know it has y coordinate 3. Let's add that to the diagram. So we now know that the centre of the circle is 2, 3. Radius of the circle equals a radius from C to this point in the circumference from 2, 3 to 7, 3 is a distance of 5 units. So it's 5 units. And we'll be using the formula that you're given in the exam, that if the centre the center is point A, B and the radius is R, then the equation is x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equals r squared. So that formula is given to you in the exam. In this case, then, the equation is x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 3 all squared equals 5 squared, 25. So that's the equation of this circle.